Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saturday Harness Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to be doing a demonstrational video on our Model 8020 uh, motorized or hand crank splitting machine. The Model 8020 machine is rated for up to 20 inches worth of split. It is a stationary blade splitter. Um, most of the time with stationary blade splitters you can come close to splitting the full width of the blade. You can usually split somewhere between 15 and 16 inches wide on this machine for the maximum, you know, for the maximum split. Uh, it is a 20 inch uh, blade, so the distance from here to here is approximately 20 inches, but again, you can probably split a total width of about 15 to 16 inches across this blade. Um, the machine is a gear driven machine. It has the, op it has the option to uh, utilize a hand crank system on the side of the machine. As you can see when I'm turning this, it can in fact be turned by hand. Usually when you operate it by hand, you would want to disconnect the motor belt so that it would turn much easier. Right now we have this machine equipped with our gear reducer drive unit and a variable speed DC servo motor. So that enables the machine to run at variable speeds. Um, so when you do operate it by hand, you just want to make sure you disconnect the belt from the speed reducer and it will turn over much, easy, much more easily by hand. The machine features a depth stop adjuster, which is controlled by this top roller on the machine. Um, if you turn this hand wheel right here, you can adjust for different depths or different thicknesses of split. On the leather, it also features adjustable um, options up here on, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side to control the uh, bottom roller so that the bottom roller can be set equidistant from one side of the blade to the other. Um, and of course, it does have tension springs on the bottom side. Those are, those are adjustable as well, and the tension springs regulate the amount of pressure by which the bottom roller squeezes against the leather. Um, <clears throat> It does feature a large gear drive mechanism on each, on each side of the machine, features a top driven, gear driven roller and a bottom gear driven roller both. And the machine is uh, a very well built machine, it's very heavy, it weighs approximately 250 pounds, not including the table and the stand, and of course it is solid cast iron and steel construction throughout. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration on uh, this machine. And, uh, one of the hallmark features of this machine that makes it a little bit nicer than some of the others is its ability to split your regular pieces of leather. So, for instance, you don't have to put a rectangular piece of leather through the machine, although you certainly could do so, but this machine will also split irregular, irregularly shaped pieces of leather like this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little demonstration here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert the leather into the machine, and then we'll go ahead and uh, perform the split. So you can see I had it set to split off a very thin sliver of leather, but you can see how nice and even that split is uh, throughout the piece. And you can see that it is in fact a very, very thin piece of leather as well that we split off the bottom side. And this was approximately 14 to 15 ounce leather that we had actually put through the machine. And you can also see on the back side where we performed the split, the split's very, very even. You can actually see a sheen on the back side of the leather indicating that this blade is razor sharp on this machine. And we actually take the time to, to hand sharpen and hollow grind and polish each one of the blades on these machines. And the reason why we do that is, as you can see, um, the proof is in the pudding. This is a very, very solid split and a very, very nice split, very, very even split throughout. And again, you can see that the blade was very sharp because there is, in fact, a sheen on the back side of this leather. So we're going to go ahead and try to run the machine again using the same piece. I'm just going to drop the roller down a little bit and I can show you that you can in fact split incrementally on this machine as well. So again, taking off just a very, very light sliver off the back side of the leather. Of course, you can see how thin this sliver is. It's almost paper thin. If I pull it apart with my hands, you see it comes apart very, very easily. And the machine is also capable of taking off very, very large splits. So I'm going to set the blade down just a little bit lower here, and then we're going to set it up to take a lot of, a lot of leather off the bottom of this piece. So you can see, as I split this bottom piece off, this is a relatively heavy piece of leather that came off on this split. So you can see that the machine can be set up to do very, very light splits. It can also be set to do very, very heavy splits. And again, the piece that we split this leather off is right here. And you can see that the piece is relatively even all throughout the piece, even though that this wasn't a regular piece of leather, which again is the hallmark feature of this machine, its ability to split uh, irregularly shaped pieces as well as large rectangular pieces also. So this is a quick demonstrational video on the uh, Cowboy Model CB8020. 
uh, 20 inch splitting machine and uh, my name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines and I do thank you for your time today.